is Carlos here with Backyard Diesels. Um, here to help you out on your uh, Duramax. Uh, this is a 2013 LML. Um, we got uh, this truck going in a lint mode. We have reductant uh, quality pressure. Um, what was the code? P. Uh, what was the code? P204B is the code popping up. What that means is there's not pressure in the uh, dev tank or dev system. The system's not holding pressure. So that doesn't mean you have a bad sensor. That just means saying it's a bad sensor, but in reality, it's uh, we have a problem that it's not holding pressure. Um, I'm gonna do this in English and Spanish, so pay close attention. And you can do it visually, also for you. toda la gente que que habla español. Lo que vamos a hacer. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to pressurize the system. So we're going to go to, there's, this is for you guys that want to do it at home. You'll still need help. Go to function tests, output controllers. We're going to look for the pump itself. System, there we go, reducting system leak test. We're going to test the system first. Which uh, we already did the backwards. I'm just explaining what happened. I'm gonna change so you can see the pressure in the system. And you know, you have different scanners, they all work differently. Okay, so this is a command. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Reverse works only. And that's on the one on the differential. Okay, so let's pull this up right now. So currently we have zero pressure in the um, dev system. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna check for leaks. That's what I wanna point out, uh, what's going on. One of the first things that I do, these break all the time against the firewall. We've done, I don't know how many, a lot. So first thing you do is pop your, your lid open Make sure your rubber, your seal here is good, nice intact, nice fully closed before you pressurize the system. Check this hose right here, up, up in the rear side. They tend to crack and break there all the time. We did that, mirror and all. I didn't want to break it loose. We didn't have to. So mirror, kind of check around in there, make sure everything's snug and tight, no cracks and it's solid. So we're good up here. That's the first thing we did. Uh, here, I removed the uh, death tank. Uh, this is your assembly. This goes up to that pipe I just showed you. So does this one. It's a complete assembly. And you don't have to do anything. Remove it. There's a clamp here. You can get it from the side. And uh, on the rear side, you can stick your hand, push those two little tabs together, and remove this. Uh, that way you can drop your tank. Um, but either way, that's, that's not too bad. This, this ain't like your fuel tank. All right, so here's a diesel exhaust fluid pump. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it on. Right off the back when I drop the tank, you can see all this. That's what happens. This leak, it turns into this crap. This is how your lines get. These tricks are meant to go to work, not to be parked nowhere. Um, so there's a leakage here now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the pump on. You can see it, this goes into your injector mode. That doesn't mean necessarily it's just a bleed by right here on your valve. So, the set, I'm still holding a zero pressure. I'm fixing to put my finger over it. Let me see. You see the pressure building up? It's going up 10, 12. You should hold it about 10, 20, 30 seconds. The pressure should be between, turn it off. I can't, while I'm holding, turn the command off on top. Okay, it's off right now. You see the pressure going down? It should sustain. And if you could tell on this side over here, get on this side. You can see it's leaking right there. You see all this crap? That's where your leak from. So the pump, the seals in the bottom are more likely leaking. So on this one, we're gonna end up replacing it. I could probably get away with replacing the seals, but since this is bleed by here, not that it's hurt, this is the cause of it, you'll always have bleed by here also. That's where that cap comes in. So that's pretty much, we got a leak in the system. Um, your, your 
pressure sensor is working good. We just verified there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, visual, we've, we've seen that this it's leaking. That's what happens to the dead fluid once it gets gets air. It turns into that crap. I think it's ammonia salt or something else. I don't forget what it was. Uh, so there you have it. We're gonna end up replacing uh, the pump, and you might get away with replacing it driving your truck. It might reset itself. Uh, if it doesn't, you can maybe uh, do it yourself, go to the dealer, go to a local shop, just have them reset your emissions, and especially uh, reset the pressure on the uh, uh, theft quality test and run a quality test on it. So, well, anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, and uh, any comments or questions, uh, let me know, like, subscribe, help me out. Uh, trying to go bigger, go home, be a badass YouTuber. So, uh, another thing, uh, bueno, switching over to English now. Bueno, mi raza ya vieron aquí algo simple. Huh? Switching over to Spanish. What I say? English? <laughs> <laughs> well, switching over to Spanish. Uh, ya les expliqué más o menos lo que hicimos. De hecho, uh, presión al sistema usando la pompa. Lo que esta pompa no hizo ruido. Uh, So, no, es, uh, muchas se, se escuchan como el, el solenoid, like little click. Uh, es una de las cosas de I forgot to explain in English that I didn't hear the pump actually click on. Not necessarily, it's not bad. Pretty much all of them make a little sound, like a little solenoid or something going off. But oh, anyway, it's another thing. So, okay, otra cosa. Ya miraron donde está liqueando la pompa. Se mira cuando está hecho sal o azúcar a esa madre, lo que le pasa al líquido. So, tenemos una fuga y lo que hace está protegiendo la troca. Uh, tengo que re, uh, tienes que recentrar las emisiones, uh, resetear las presiones del dead quality, pas, pasar un quality test. Uh, tal vez uh, reemplaces la pompa. Todo está bien. Uh, tal vez la troca se resete sola. No, no puedo garantizar nada, pero tal vez quizás. O yo, pues para no andar ahí asegurando. O adivinando, yo lo hago con la computadora, pero uh, ojalá este video les ayude. Uh, les, ya les enseñé cómo revisar por mayoría siempre el tapón y ahí pegado al, a la pared del motor. Desde de siempre, por mayoría, encuentro muchas quebradas y reemplazar ese assembly que viene completo. Pero bueno, mi raza, muchas gracias a todos. Uh, si tienen unas preguntas o comentarios. Rápido. So, bueno, eso es todo por ahora. Muchas gracias. And like and subscribe. Hasta luego.